Hey, this is Matt. Once again, what about to the videos of the paid requests, this time for Edward. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. And this is for Soft Part Season 19, Episodes 3 and 4. Now, I gotta say, with these two episodes, for me, just me personally, I kind of had the same issue with both, where I wasn't really a big fan of them. Because... Yeah, maybe just me. These episodes felt like it was more about being satiric, but they weren't really that funny. Like, I didn't really find either of these episodes that funny or entertaining at all, even though I got what the satire was. So, for example, episode three, Jimmy Fallon, which I'm like, who does this shit with Jimmy Fallon things? But Jimmy Fallon slams South Park, and the people in South Park are horrified. And so they start having this idea of gentrification where, you know, they take out the businesses that are considered low key, low budget and try to make us seem like we're much more higher upper echelon than we really are. The, the city walk or shitty walk. The guy who we found out I figured out what season that he was a white guy that changed himself to an Asian guy. He just chopped kids to work for him just a lot cheaper so he could keep his business open. And one of them is Tenny. Now, I don't think a whole lot really goes for where Tenny worked in there. It's just like, I guess we need to pick a kid, just pick Tenny to work there. While that's happened on the whole, the whole foods market representative is going to come to South Park and South Park wants to remain prim and proper and really impress them but they realize this child labor force is happening so the mob is trying to destroy the city walk the Asian restaurant while this whole mob and fight and battle happens the Whole Foods market representative sees this and is impressed with what they're trying to do to progress to change it seemed like the whole episode is just to show how much a PC South Park, how fucking boring it would be. I guess it achieved its goal because it was a fairly boring episode. So, I get what is the satire of it, but it still came off for me as a boring episode. Because the whole point is to show, you know, at the very end where everybody's being nice and courteous to each other and saying the the right words they're supposed to say. In the end, it showcases how boring as PC South Park would be. I'm like, we already fucking know that. Like, who are you preaching? You're preaching to the choir. Like, you're preaching to people who would never watch the show in the first place, let alone a 19th season of the show. So, they like, said so that and the whole gentrification stuff. Uh, the whole it just didn't do much for me entertainment wise. The other kids didn't really seem like they had much highlights in this episode, at least that I remember. Whether it be Butters or Cartman or such. So honestly, I would say episode 3 was the weakest of season 19 so far. And then episode 4 was a little bit better. Pretty much this deals with Yelp reviewers. Which, I'll be honest, I never read a fucking Yelp review in my life, so I'm not really the most knowledgeable on that. I know what it is, but it's like, I didn't, I've never one time reviewed, I've never one time put a review on Yelp, or read a review on Yelp. But there's all these new restaurants popping up because of what happened in the previous episode, and now everybody is a reviewer. And as a reviewer, they want certain things like get their table quickly or get their food ready quickly and the restaurants are stairs so that they don't get a bad review but then like everybody's a reviewer even Cartman's a reviewer and he blackmails folks into doing stuff otherwise I'll give you a bad review there's even this one kid that he keeps picking on and trying to get him to say all this terrible shit about himself 
Otherwise, I'll give your dad a bad review. AT's fucking the kid's name up on purpose. Until ultimately, one reviewer gets kicked out of the store, whistling willies, and the other people go, yeah, we could do this too, and they start kicking everybody out, and then Carmen doesn't like that, so he gets all the reviewers together, and he... He's even surprised at how many there are. There's thousands and thousands. Like, holy shit. And everybody thinks they're the leader. So they go on these rides. They destroy some restaurants. They do a, a play on, like, the terrorists, where there was a video of terrorists taking the head off here. It's someone taking a mask out off. So the guy is fine. Just they took the mask out head off, but they act like they took an actual head off. <laughs> Uh, to ultimately, uh, they realize that every one of these reviewers think they're a legend in their own mind, so to speak. So some of the other kids did the idea of, well, let's give them these special badges, uh, just to show how special they are, but what it does is the people who have these restaurants notice Oh, you're a Yelp reviewer. So then they start throwing cum or shit or piss or spit on the food. And there's even a song playing made by the guys of South Park about how they're doing this and how, you know, they're giving urine and shit and all this to all the Yelpers. And you seem to be eating fine, but. You just have a shitty grin in more ways than one. So again, I get the idea of the satire of... Okay, if anyone's... You're nothing special. You giving a review, good or bad. I mean, it's there for a reason. Like, hopefully people read it and then they improve. And I don't know if they... the Maybe they could had that little bit of conversation in the episode that you know the reason it started in the first place is criticism that is more well rounded I go hey man like uh, you gotta be careful because you know you're cooking food and they're a bit too cold or hey this is a bit raw and that's dangerous and you got but at the same time you would just tell them in person But, I mean, Yelp review is pretty much, I guess in all truthfulness, it's more, hey, give it five out of five and tell us how awesome we are. We can show, show people how great we are. But then you don't have the negative side of that. But at the same time, that's the same as any type of place that offers reviews. But to say that don't think you're anyone special. Like even if you take out that, let's say like YouTube review. Let's say if this was about YouTube reviewers. Yeah, I give my honest opinion. Do I honestly expect the studio to somehow watch one of my videos and go, yep. No, I know they don't give a fuck and... <laughs> That's why I pretty much say whatever I want is they're not going to give a shit. I just kind of like calm your britches and know where your place is. Like you give your honest opinion but at the same time, uh, you know, don't abuse it. I just don't abuse it and stuff. I just more so it would be like the if a YouTube reviewer said, hey, bring me to the premiere. Otherwise, I don't know, this movie might be a 4 out of 10. Bret Hart style, 4 out of 10. Better bring, bring me to the premiere. I think that'd be more like that. Which I wouldn't be surprised if that's happened before. But anyway, what I'm getting is like, I get the satire, but at the same time, I'm sitting there going, what did I really laugh at? You know, did I laugh at Cartman fucking with this kid and mispronouncing his name all the time? No. Oh, 
okay, they, they take this guy's mask out head off to mimic a terrorist act. Like, he's like, I get it, but I'm like, hmm. but it didn't make me laugh. That's what I mean, it's more about the satire and less about it being funny. And that's the thing, like, you can be satirical all you want, but if I don't find that funny or entertaining, then it's like, what's the point? Maybe I'm alone in that, and I'm the only person that felt that way, but... I don't know, season 19 hasn't been that good so far. It really hasn't. I don't know if this is a word of warning for what's to come. Not just for the season, for for the rest of the show. Although it seems like most people feel South Park is just as good as it always was. But I'd be curious if, there's a, if there are people that feel the show got worse. I'd be very curious if anyone out there sees this and you're a diehard South Park fan... Is it a show that got worse? Is it a show that's still the same? Is anything I say making sense to anybody that it feels like it's more satire than funny? <laughs> I don't know, I just... Like I said, I can't really think of anything from these two episodes that made me generally laugh out loud to the, to the fucking air. <laughs> so... I just, I guess it just wasn't, I don't know, maybe also the subjects like gentrification and Yelp reviewing, they're not really stuff I can relate to, they're not stuff I can really pinpoint and have a lot of experience with or have a lot of my own personal experience and I can see what they mean, I've been through, like no, it's like, almost want to say it's all Greek to me. So to speak. Uh, so. That's just me though. With that said. Thanks for watching. Thanks once again Edward. And we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.